<laughs> Hello everybody, I am Ricky Nelson and today we're going to talk about a problem that has plagued humanity since time immemorial. This problem is here, the problem is not going anywhere, so we might as well find ways to deal with it. What am I talking about? I'm talking about cheating, okay? Cheating is here, cheating is not going anywhere, so we might as well find ways to accept it or at the very least do it well, okay? So here goes. The way the way I see it, the way I see it is that you or a lot of relationships out here are getting ruined by side niggers and side chicks because of one major problem, as in their inability to shut the fuck up, okay? The way I see it, <laughs> the way I see it is that if you have made peace if you know that you are the side chick if he or she is lying to you and told you that oh i'm not in a relationship oh blah 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 i'm single that's different but if you stepped into this knowing full well that this individual or this person has somebody else and i am the extra person it's very clear and i think the one rule <laughs> the one rule of being of being a side chick. I think being a side chick should be like the Brad Pitt movie Fight Club. Have you guys watched Fight Club? What was the number one rule of Fight Club? We don't talk about Fight Club. And that should be the same thing about being a side chick. What's the number one rule of being a side chick or a side nigga? We don't talk about being a side chick, okay? Because I believe a lot, or not believe, I know a lot of relationships are being ruined out here by people simply because they couldn't shut the fuck up. That's all you have to do. Just keep quiet. <laughs> you know, know your role. Huh? Play your section of the field. Do not try and overstep. Do not try and graduate. Uh-uh. No. You... <laughs> are a side chick or you are a side nigger and know your place and stay in your place do not go calling or texting this individual past 6 p.m uh -uh, unless you guys are already out together that's the only time you but after six that is serious time okay that is serious time you do not interrupt him or her during that time the very best thing or this is the only thing that you can do is at about 8 or 9 p.m just simply send them good night that's all. Do not, do not add dear. Do not add any sweet nothings to the end of that message. Just simply send good night. Try this out for the next six months and see if your relationship then just don't become the most beautiful thing out here. <laughs> you know? See, you need to find a side piece. Yeah, let me, because I'm tired of saying side chick, side nigga. You need to find someone. Who will even show up to your wedding, okay? And will sit there and be so happy for you because you are experiencing a beautiful moment in your life. And in the end, when the officiate says, I now present Mr. and Mrs. so and so, he or she will live and stand up and clap for you because they are happy. They know that your happiness is their happiness, okay? <laughs> So what am I trying to say here, okay? One, find yourself someone who supports you. Two, and most importantly, find someone who can shut the fuck up. <laughs> I am Ricky Nelson, and thanks for watching.